Hey everyone and a massive welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting something really different. Well, I have actually mentioned this in my channel updates video, so if of course you haven't seen that yet, then I really recommend that you go and check that out. I am doing my first video of Ask Rosie Bunny and I'm really excited because I'm going to be focusing on a question that I get asked all the time and that is why is neutering and spaying your rabbits so important? Now, just before I get started, just in case you're wondering what this Ask Rosie Bunny thing actually is, then I will leave you a link to my channel updates video in the description box below so you can go and check that out just to have a little bit more information but of course if you have already seen it then I'm sure you'll know what all of this is. So neutering and spaying is of course really really important, I just can't stress that enough. There is actually several different reasons for this. And I'm going to tell you those reasons and just go into a little bit more detail on what actually happens during neutering, costs and just different things like that just to answer some more of your questions. And of course if you still have questions that have been left unanswered then just leave them below in the comment section and I will try and answer them as best as I can. And first of all I just want to say that Rosie is a spayed rabbit. She was spayed a couple of months after I got her so if you want any personal experience stories then just leave your questions in the comment section and I will happily answer them for you. So one of the reasons why neutering and spaying is so important for both male and female rabbits is because altered rabbits actually live healthier, happier and longer lives than unaltered rabbits. Unaltered rabbits actually live with the risk of developing reproductive cancers especially in females. This goes for exactly the same for male rabbits as well, they tend to live longer when they're neutered and of course he won't be tempted to fight or show aggressive behaviour towards other animals including rabbits as well. They are often a lot more calmer, a lot more loving and much much easier to bond. Plus if you are bonding a female and a male rabbit together you won't run the risk of having little baby rabbits. <laughs> Obnoxious behaviour is often eliminated when rabbits are neutered and spayed. So overall, behaviour does often improve when rabbits are neutered and spayed, which is really important not for just yourself, but also for the rabbits that they're living around as well, to prevent things like fighting, mating, aggressive behaviour, spraying training becomes much much more easier. Altered rabbits can have a friend to play with, bonding becomes much more easier. Once a male rabbit is neutered, he won't be able to reproduce with a female. Overall, spaying and neutering has become much more safe over the years. There are obviously some risks still, but isn't it just overall a much more safe procedure? So you're probably wondering, is neutering and spaying actually safe for our rabbits? And the answer to that is it has become so much more safe, like I've just said, over the years. There is obviously still some risks, there are some things that can often go wrong but this is a very very small percentage so I just don't really think you've got much to worry about obviously of course we're obviously going to worry about our bunnies if they're having surgery it's always a worrying time and I know that from personal experience but it's it's just much more safe now Females can actually be spayed once they are mature which is usually around four months old but from my past experience my vet has said to wait until they're at least six months old. I mean all vets are different but I think six months is what vets recommend. And males can actually be neutered around three to four months of age so males and females kind of like differ. Now spaying and neutering costs actually differ from different veterinary surgeries. It can usually be between 40 and 60 pounds. I think mine was in the 50 pounds sort of range for Rosie to be spayed. So if you think about it, it isn't actually that much. But of course, just putting money aside for things like vaccinations, neutering and spaying costs is just something that I'd always recommend. I myself still have a box of rosy money that I've put together over the years just in case anything happens to go wrong. So, but like I said before, costs and fees, they just completely differ from vet to vet. So if you have any more questions on neutering and spaying, if you want to know Rosie's sort of spaying experience, then just leave the comments down below. I will answer them as soon as I possibly can. I really hope that you found this video helpful and informative in some sort of way. If you want to ask a question for my next Ask Rosie Bunny, you can use the hashtag Ask Rosie Bunny on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that or you can leave them down below. I 
it's completely up to you where you ask me. So thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video.